the money, the currency, they use pesos, and it's it's about 20 pesos for a dollar. And as far as getting around there, Uruguay overall is pretty safe. Um, just as long as you don't go into areas that are obviously um, more dangerous, it's pretty safe. Uh, never had any problem with pickpockets or just rough people in general. Gangs, they're... There might have been some, but they're not very prevalent. So overall, it's a pretty safe country. Um, and it's not like, as a tourist, you would stick out that much because the people there are already very fair-skinned because a lot of them come from Europe. So um, unless you have extremely blonde hair, you would fit in pretty well if, as long as you didn't open your mouth, I guess. Uh, getting around, the they use buses for almost everything. They don't have a sub, there's no subway. Um, so the bus system is the, the common way of getting around. They, um, they always have just in the front of the bus where the end point is. So depending, the, the, the best way to get around would just to, when the bus opens up, go in and ask the conductor how to get to someplace, which bus to take, and then They'll tell you what number, and then you take that bus, and then ask them which stop to get off at. And that's, it's a pretty easy way to get around. Um, there, it's a little complicated, but if you get on the right bus, then they'll tell you which stop, stop to get off on. Uh, so, I would say, as far as other expenses, even though it's 20 pesos for every dollar, still it's not that cheap of a country. Uh, the food... Overall, the food is probably a little more expensive than the States. And electronics, anything with technology, is going to be more expensive because Uruguay ends up importing a lot of the foods or any of the goods, and then they put high taxes on it, so it ends up being very expensive. So uh, don't really go to Uruguay planning to bring back a lot of cheap goods because a lot of it will be cheaper in the States anyway.